first, it was a deadly Sunday with three lives lost to violence in Kansas City, all within hours of each other, putting Kansas City's homicide rate even with last year's. 41 Action News reporter Nick Starling spoke with anti-violence advocates working to bring about change. We're at Armor Boulevard and Gillum Road, where police say one person was killed inside the Georgian Court apartments here. Unfortunately, this is just one of several homicides today. Police lights flicker in three different neighborhoods, responding to homicides within six hours. The first at 12th and Grand around 4 a.m., the second just after 5.30 in the morning at Northwest Harlem Road, and the third at this apartment complex at Armour and Gillum. We will continue to investigate them. We would ask for the public um, and the people that are involved in this activity to, to knock it off. This brings the number of homicides to 23 so far this year on pace with last year's number of 23 in 2020, which broke the city's homicide record for the year, totaling 176 homicides. There's been lots of conversation about making sure that we don't repeat numbers from last year. Brandon Mims is the director of crisis intervention for the ad hoc group against crime. I think everybody is hoping that we don't break records again or even match that record, come anywhere near that record. Mims adds each killing impacts our community. With every homicide, you know, we lose whatever gift that that person has, whatever they could have contributed to the community. It's so much loss that it's difficult to put into words. Leaving more questions on how to stop this violence from happening than answers. We didn't get here overnight, and it's not a problem that, that's going to solve itself overnight. We have to continue to work at it to drive that number down. It's a challenge plaguing our community, but MIMS remains optimistic the tide will turn. So hold on. Hope is on the way. Reporting in Kansas City, Nick Starling, 41 Action News.